Hey guys, welcome to our next version of Coffee Clinic and Conversations. I'm Jennifer Jimenez, nurse practitioner at Dunes Family Clinic, and this is Juana Williams. We are wanting to talk to you guys today about the flu because we've been spending a lot of time talking and texting and video chatting with our um, patients in the community about the flu and how do we know if we have the flu or is it just a cold or how do you test for a flu and what we can do. So I'm going to ask you some questions, Juana, if you wouldn't mind helping us through that because that way we can navigate our way through the flu season. Excellent. Okay. The first thing I want to know is, what's the difference between a flu and the cold? The flu affects the entire body, so you'll feel like you got hit by a Mack truck. Everything will hurt. It will affect your upper respiratory system, so you will have runny nose. You'll have cough. You'll, it'll sound like you're going to cough up your lungs. Uh, you'll have upset stomach, nausea, diarrhea. You know, the, the few things we don't want to have, and we it tends to come with the flu, but... When it's a upper that respiratory, terrible. it is terrible. But when it's an upper respiratory infection, it affects from here on up. So runny nose, cough, and uh, but it doesn't affect anything else. So what you're saying, Juana, is if I have a cold, that would be considered an upper respiratory infection from the chest up, right? From the chest up. Okay. And for that, we do not prescribe antibiotics because it won't help. Okay, you'll be throwing antibiotics to the wind. Mm -hmm. What could you do if you have a cold to feel better? If you have a cold, you want to do one, one thing for sure. You want to rest. You want to drink some hot soup, hot chicken soup. Mm -hmm. And you could take an over-the-counter medication for your symptoms. Uh, there's multiple products on the market. Mm -hmm. You could take those and time will take care of it. Okay. However, if you have the flu, it's totally different. You should always seek the advice of a medical provider, so go to your doctor. You want to make sure that you're treated accordingly because no, you will not be given an antibiotic, but you will be given an antiviral. And I'm sure you've all heard, including you, Tamiflu is the big one on the market. If you have the flu, again, you'll feel miserable, and usually you are not even hungry. Mm -hmm. All you want to do is sleep. Your whole entire body hurts, and you have to be evaluated. Wanna, do I need a prescription to get the Tamiflu, or can I go to the store and buy it? You cannot get Tamiflu over the counter or a product like Tamiflu. You have to get a prescription, and you have to see your doctor. If a patient comes to us and says that they think they have the flu, how would we test them for the flu? It's interesting you ask that. And for everyone out there, I want to show you what it's like. Jen? <laughs> so first, they'll get a little swab. <laughs> And I hope you don't mind that. I didn't sign but consent I, for this. Just so you are all I want to show you. <laughs> this little swab will go into the nose uh -huh. where we will take a sample and then we'll send it to the lab for evaluation. Now, sometimes... All the way down your throat. No, it is not all the way down the throat. It is. But it certainly goes up to your brain. I'm, I'm sorry. Not up to the... <laughs> Maybe it goes up to your brain. Maybe it goes up to your brain, but we try not to. We just to get some mucus. We want to make sure it's nice and wet. We send it to the lab. Now, there is a quick uh, influenza swab. Sometimes that'll be negative, uh -huh. okay? But we still send it to the lab for verification, and if it's positive, we'll let you know within a day. One of the flu is contagious, right? Very contagious. How can I protect my children and my family if I have the flu? If you have someone in the family who has a flu, you want to make sure to won't do several things. But most importantly, wipe everything down. Wash your hands. <laughs> so when you wash your hands, make sure you clean everything else, okay? Mm -hmm. Doorknobs, vanities, tabletops. Because we know as much as we tell our children to do this, they don't. Mm -hmm. So more than likely, if one person gets the flu, Everyone will get the flu, so please see your doctors. And we should wipe it with a wet cloth? No. Or you want to buy the product that has Clorox in it. There There's several go. on the market. I'm not just going to distinguish one, but buy something or dilute your own. An ounce of bleach. In a gallon of in water. In a gallon of water. Mm -hmm. Okay? And you want to make sure you get a paper towel, something that you are not going to keep using over and over. Wipe everything down. Sounds great. When can I go back to work if I have the flu? If you have the flu, you want to make sure you're symptom-free, not sneezing, and have been medicated. If you are sneezing and coughing, guess what? All that gets sprayed out to other people, and they're going to get it too. 
So you become a, what is known as a little vector. Mm -hmm. How long do you expect the flu to last if somebody is noted to be positive for the flu? I believe this year the flu has re reached pandemic levels, but it's actually very mild. At least in this community, I've seen the flu lasting anywhere from five to 10 days, but that's not the worrisome part this year. The flu is quite mild, okay? Uh, what we worry about is secondary infections, especially mm -hmm. with this flu. So you could get over the flu quite easily, five to 10 days, okay? N but then if you develop an earache, a sore throat, or a, another fever after um, mm -hmm. getting better, then you have to go see your doctor again because you might have a different infection. Okay. Do you suppose that I should still get the flu vaccine? If I haven't gotten the flu vaccine, do you think that will protect me from getting the flu? Jen, that's a great question that I want to tell you all guys about. Always get the flu shot. Why? Because you could get the flu more than once. Mm -hmm. Also, I understand that even if you get the flu shot, you might still get sick which could or could not be the flu, but it's pretty possible that the flu that you get after getting a shot is much milder than the flu that you would get if you weren't protected. Is that right? That is correct. So you always want to get the flu shot. Why? Because let's say you're a high risk group or a child that is around many other children who can possibly have the flu. You want to get the flu and shot in them. Why? Because they won't be as sick. So instead mm -hmm. of being sick for 10 days, they'll be mildly sick for five days. So even though we can't prevent it 100%, it could still occur, but you'll have mild symptoms. That sounds great. I think that you answered all my questions today, Juana. I really appreciate your time. And if you guys have any questions about the flu or cold or cough, please uh, feel free to contact us or contact your healthcare provider. So look down below. You could text us, you could chat with us, or you can even call us or call your medical provider of choice Again, let us know what you think. Let us know, give us your comments. Peace out. Stay tuned for our next version of Coffee Clinic and Conversations.